this video is I want to do a how to part your bow. So um, I don't want to make it too complicated on explaining you on how to park your bow. And but I do feel like this video is very needing, especially if with how many people are starting to buy boats and a lot of people who don't um, really have a lot of boating experience are buying a lot of boats and just recently this year um, we've seen plenty of people who had their you know their brand new boat and they were going to dock it and they kind of like crashed when they hit the dock or ran into another boat and they end up damaging either their boat or another person's boat so I feel like this video will definitely help a lot of different people who are in the boat market or just you know have a boat and they want to learn a little bit more about how to dock a boat. Um, but I can say the key to learning how to drive a boat is definitely repetition. Repetition in anything will help you learn how to do something better and you will get way better and more efficient at docking a boat for sure. But um, the first things I want to go through with, you know, docking a boat. Um, so anywhere, there's probably going to be current. You know, any most times different places you're going to park at. Um, most times marinas are either on rivers or they're in like on the coastline where there's a lot of wind. Um, but anyways, um, the first thing you want to look at is which way the current is moving. So. Here at the marina, the most times the river is going to be running out. And a lot of times in the summertime, the way it is right now, we have a lot of fresh water coming out and it's always going to be consistently moving out. So just keep that in your mind whenever you're moving yourself around. Most likely if you're not moving, you're going to be moving towards the, the mouth of the river. Um, that's the first and simple thing I want you to kind of think about. The next kind of thing is your motors are only on the back of your boat so you really only have control of the rear part of your boat um, most boats they kind of swing and stuff whenever you kind of back up but um, so this picture in your mind that if you're gonna kinda think you're gonna come into a spot or whatever you gotta just maintain like a general it's hard to explain because boat driving is mainly just a feeling and it's just a practice and it's like extending your arms it's almost like driving a car for the first time you kind of like you're like oh my gosh how am I driving this thing how do I keep it between these lines but eventually you just kind of get used to it and you just you're more comfortable and more you have more control of your th vehicle but um the simple tr uh, t tips and simple tricks that will help you from crashing though is never come in too hot I see people all the time they're coming in really hot and if you're especially if you don't feel really comfortable about controlling your vessel don't ever come in fast to the dock that's just asking for something bad to happen and another big thing I see in especially people who don't have a ton of driving experience is they tend to get close to the dock and then they just start freaking out because people are watching them, especially how the marina has a balcony. There's always a ton of people. They'll start freaking out and they'll start giving the boat a lot of throttle and either forward or reverse. And that's what causes most boats to kind of get very bad damages because they'll come up to the dock and get kind of cross-eyed, you know, getting kind of weird at the dock. And then they'll just gun it and it'll just slam the boat against the dock. And most times... If you come in real slow, even if you get yourself in a jack where you're kind of just you're stuck and you know you're going to bump into something, never, ever, ever give the boat a ton of throttle where you got the boat moving fast because if it does hit something moving fast, it's going to damage something. And if the boat's moving very slow and you take the boat out of gear and you know you're going to come in and bump into something, it's better to keep the boat moving as slow as possible because you can kind of push off stuff and avoid any damages but I'm gonna show you we got a little launch dock right here and we're gonna pull the boat out but I'm gonna show you how I kinda approach the dock and how I kinda use the motors to keep myself away from running into the dock and hitting the dock hard so Especially with a two-engine boat, though, 
you get a little bit more control of the belt, but it's also, it also makes it a little bit more difficult too because you got to make sure you got both motors doing what you want because one motor being not in sync with like the rest of your thought process can throw your whole boat docking off. But it really doesn't make a difference between going from one motor to two motors. People always talk about, oh, he can only drive that good because he has two motors. No, it's not. It's once you under, understand the concept, you can dock a boat a lot easier. So what you want to do, especially if you're going to park parallel, is kind of kick your bow out. Right now i got the current going that way, so I don't have to worry about my bow going too far. But once you get the boat kind of broadside, put it in reverse, start backing up, turn the throttles the other way. And what I'm doing right now is, since I have all the control in the back of the boat, I'm able to pull the back of the boat towards the dock. And you're getting closer right there, so you want to put it back and forward and turn it this way. Now kick your bow out. And now we're starting to get... So I got the boat parallel to the dock, and I just kind of let the current pull me up against the dock. I didn't try to, you know, run, run the bow up towards the dock and then get somebody to jump off and hold the bow and kind of do some weird stuff. I just let the current kind of, you get the boat on a certain angle and let it just come in. But sometimes the current works against you. Say the current was going the other way just then and I had to make sure that I don't let my bow get pulled away too far because I can move around the back of the boat but I can't move around the front of the boat when I get per parallel. Um, so in the case if the current was moving the other way and I just attempted to do what I just did, I would take the same approach, but I would make sure I'd be keeping the bow as close as I can to the dock whenever I'd be coming in for my little turn. And you just kind of use the motors to keep bumping in and out of gear. And you just don't want to get your bow too far over here to where when you get kind of parallel, getting close to the dock, your bow is drifting away. And then you lose kind of your docking job because once the bow is out here, all you got is your motors back here. And you're gonna be tying off the back of the boat and hoping to kind of like get the bow to come and swing around. So, the current's moving out this way. The main priority is to keep that bow close to the dock, and then you tie the bow off real quick. That way, you you have no chance of the bow kind of swinging off. And then you can kick your back in with the motors, and you have complete control of the back of the boat. So, that's a little tip about how to dock your boat, especially here in the launch dock and in different this kind of setting. Um, but there's different ways to back in the boat. We got a lot of s slips over here that you tend to either bow in your boat or back in your boat. And literally, back in your boat's probably easier than what I just did if you just understand the concept and understand which way your current's moving and understanding whenever you let off the gas which way your boat is going to go. Because a lot of people don't get that when they put, put the boat in neutral the boat's still moving it's not this dead still and that's what causes a lot of people to crash because they come in here and they kind of get a perfect they're getting a good angle that looks like they're gonna go straight in and go straight into their slip and all of a sudden they put the boat in neutral and then the boat's still moving and it's starting to drift over and it's either getting too far away or it's gonna hit another boat that they're coming in next to so when you're backing or going into one of these slips, if you're going to go to this side and you got your current going, you want to hug the bow against the side dock. Get it as close as you can, but don't you don't want to get too close where you have a chance of marking up the boat. You just want to get a good feel and just get a good, make sure there's no one blocking your vision and get it real close to that side of the dock. And then back down and try to tie off your bow immediately. Now it'll keep the bow from drifting off. And if you're going to go from that side, that the right side, if the current's going out, is going to be a little bit easier because all you have to do is really get your boat inside there and the current will pin you up against the dock and you'll be able to tie off real easy. But if you're going to back in the boat, it's just pretty much the same thing, but you just want to kind of get your boat straight parallel with the dock, same way I kind of got the boat straight here, and then it's back straight up to where the boat kind of once you put the motors back and forward and get the boat to stop it's just going to drift and hit the dock square on because if you come in at an angle the bow is going to hit the corner of the dock and you'll be all jacked up and this it'll just be horrible and but the main i'm not trying to explain it too much because really explaining 
how to tell somebody how to drive a boat is not the best way. The best way is for you to just get experience in this repetition with parking your boat. The more you'll be out here in the water and the more you get you comfortable with getting your boat close to different other boats and getting close to docks and stuff, the better you'll be at docking your boat. I've taught a lot of boys here how to drive these rental boats and the best teaching tool that I've figured out how you know to make people understand how driving a boat is just kind of just letting them do their own thing but just getting them practice because it's like stretching out your arms everybody has a little bit different of a way that they like parking their boat and they like how they like this a feeling for when they're getting close and when how much throttle they need to use to keep the boat from crashing um, but it's just mainly when everybody gets Everybody who's been taught how to drive rental boats here at the marina, they're just, they don't understand it and get it and perfect at it the first try. It's never like that. It's always, it just takes repetition and this lots of practice. But if you own a boat, you're going to want to know how to park your boat. So the best thing you need to do is just try to park your boat. Don't get scared and just kind of bow the boat in and kind of get where you kind of push it around and just tie it off. Let's try different things and most times it helps to be alone and just have an open dock where there's not any boats next to it. That way if you're kind of bumping into the things and stuff you're not damaging anything. But I hope that this video can help you dock your boat and I hope that you learn a little bit of something and I hope that from my experience of docking boats that this video comes in clutch for someone who doesn't have as much experience. But thank you guys for watching the YouTube channel and please follow in our Instagram and Facebook. We have a bunch of different videos and stuff we'll be posting. And please subscribe to our channel. But thank you for watching and we'll see you again.